Hello friends and welcome to Let's Play Obama in Wonderland. I'm your host, Magic Man Mo. I've got something from the time I was serving in the army of the Queen of Hearts. You might need it. Uh, thanks. Uh, dynamite? Okay, and we do have a lighter. I probably don't want to light this yet. A dynamite about to blow. Okay, uh, good. We're just gonna keep that lit in my pocket now and hope that that doesn't explode and kill us all. <laughs> As we can see, you aren't that smart when <laughs> handling your explosive materials. Alright, well, uh, we won't do that again then. Let's go use this again. Hopefully we don't need to pay him again. Oh, we can actually tell it where we want to go. I thought we had to, like, spin it just where we want. Okay, let's go to Tweedledum and Tweedledee, I guess. We'll just go in a clockwise motion, you know what I'm saying? Tweedledee, Tweedledum. A little high, a little low. I don't want to go grabbing strangers, Bill Obama. Come on. Let's have a word with these numbskulls. Hello, gentlemen. <laughs> he's talking to me. No, he's talking to me. What do you want? Are, are, are you are you twins? I've got the slight impression that you are twins. I've got this one. You answer it all the time. This is not fair. I, I don't think they understand each other. Uh, I, I, I think they're not twins. I think they might be clones. Um... Okay, let's just jump to the chase, shall we? Don't, don't, don't you think that maybe, um, instead of fighting, why don't you help me in this adventure? Hmm. Well. Since you put it that way, we will do it. That was easy. I could always use more help. Okay, well, what, what, what could I, oh, can I put them in my pocket? You're going into my pockets now, you crazy twins. I don't know what we're going to use them for, obviously, but we're going to find out eventually. Let's go speak to Humpty Dumpty. Yes, let's do that. Humpty Dumpty, no, don't jump. Humpty Dumpty, okay, what do we got here? You seem to have a sack. Are you, like, making a great escape? Are you thieving? And then you Uh, what's in the bag? And nothing is none of your business. Hmm, he's hiding something. Good afternoon. Uh, s <laughs> don't you cook in the sun? Don't you have better things to do? Uh, calm down, don't let the yolk, I mean the blood, get to your head. <laughs> I don't know why we're just antagonizing this poor guy. Suddenly I think I want an omelet. Is this even a princess somewhere waiting to be rescued? I never get tired of this. <laughs> Alright, um, well, we need a way to get him down, I guess. And I, I, I don't know if we have what we need to get him down. It's possible. Can we catapult? No, it's a ball? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, we got the sack. Are you crazy? It's just that I love soccer and I couldn't resist the temptation. That's the inconvenience of living in Wonderland. Too many crazy people. Now give me my bag back. I'm sorry, buddy. That bag is in the ground. Therefore, it has no owner. Obama's straight up mugging this guy. I'm done talking to you. Go away. Uh, I'm going to take your bag. What's in it? Let's open it up. We've got some stolen vowels and an empty bag. Stolen vowels. That's funny. I uh, don't know what we're going to do with any of that yet. Is there anything else I can do with this guy? I don't think I can eat this. Oh, I can eat this. Why would I eat this right now? Oh, it doesn't do anything. I'm a regular size. That's right. I got really excited there for a second. Can I give him his bag back? Just his empty bag? You can have your empty bag back. It no longer serves me any purpose. Let's go get a piece of that mushroom back because... Let's go get the, the stem and the top back because um, you never know. You never know when you're going to need that again. There, okay. And uh, I think we only have one more quadrant of the roulette to go to yet. And we've got to go speak to the crazy hair. Maybe he wants some crazy vowels. I mean, they're not crazy vowels. They're stolen vowels. But that's kind of crazy, right? I don't know. I don't know. 
man. Maybe, maybe I can give a, an empty bag to play with. Ah, and the Mad Hatter, the crazy hair, and some butter. Can I take the butter? Oh my gosh, am I? I can't. I can take the butter. Can I take the teapot? There's a dead rat. Uh oh, am I sitting on a chair? No, I'm not. Okay, this is kind of spooked. All right, well, let's speak to the crazy hair, maybe, and then the Mad Hatter. I'm glad I clicked on the butter. Nothing else seemed to click, but the butter did. Hello. Goodbye. I I think he's insane. How about you, Mad Hatter? Oh, what, what time is it right now? What kind of question is that? Of course, it's six o'clock, like every day at every time. Of course it is. Here in Wonderland, it's always six o'clock. Why is that? How did that happen? You see, the time got mad because he heard me say that I wanted to kill sometime. <laughs> but I wasn't referring to him, it was just an expression, you see. Since then, the time refuses to move, and that's why it's always 6 o'clock. And since we're talking about time, the only way to go see the Time Master is through this chair I'm sitting on. Um, that's interesting. Maybe if you could not be sitting on that chair? What are you? What is it you're celebrating right now? We're celebrating my no birthday. Uh, no birthday? Yes, it's easier to celebrate the no birthdays than the birthdays, don't you think? Uh, if you say so. Uh, how about we light a candle in celebration of your no birthday? Yes. Yes. We'll put it on the table right here. Happy no birthday. Happy no birthday to me? To you! I'm excited! It's the nicest cake I've ever seen! And how many cakes have you seen? None! <laughs> well, at least this is the first one. Can I light it? Can I ask you to, like, not sit there anymore? <laughs> oh. Why don't you uh, switch seats so that you can be closer to your cake? You're right. I'll do that right now. I hope he goes to... Oh, I was really hoping he'd go down to the furthest chair. He turned out to be useful. All right, now I can sit in your chair and speak to the time. A yellow flower, a yellow flower. It's... Well, there's two flowies. I've never played Undertale. Okay, let's speak to the yellow flower, the, the, the first one. Sure, the one on the left, because left is always right. Hello, I want to see Master Time. I can't allow that unless you tell me the secret password. Secret password? I don't know any secret password. How about you? Hello, I want to see ma the Time Master. I can't allow that unless you tell me the secret password. The secret password? I, I don't know any secret password. Uh, butter! Uh, maybe Tweedledum or Tweedledee? No, the path. I mean, there's two of them and two of me. No, that didn't work at all. How about I just <laughs> burn them down? Is it eat me? Maybe it's eat me. I mean, not eat me, but drink me. Drink me. Is that the secret password? Cheese, maybe? Maybe a little bit of papa? What if I put the catapult down? I really don't know. Can I go this way? Yeah, that brings me back to here. Do these guys know the password? No. I feel like it has something to do with the, the letters, though, right? The stolen vowels, perhaps? No? Does it not? Oh, no. No, I'm stumped. Um, we've done the turtle. Tweedledee, tweedledum. Humpty. And we're here now. There's nowhere else for me to really go. What if I light this and throw it? No, I feel like that's not gonna work. That just, that just done did blow me up, it sure did. Oh, 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 I can pick up one of these papers. Read. I'm clueless. I, uh, can we put the vowels? Ba Bandersnatch. That's gotta be the password. That's gotta be the password. Oh my gosh. Okay, okay, we found it. I thought I hovered over these, but I must not have been very... I must not have been very careful. I thought I looked at... 
No, I think I tried to look at the paper before I got big, so it probably didn't show up. Maybe that was it. I don't remember. I thought I looked at them, but I clearly must not have. Um, yeah, the crazy hair. Guys, guys, I was stumped. I don't know what to do or where to go. Okay, uh, Bandersnatch. Can I grab this and do this? Yes? Bandersnatch. Oh! It worked! They've opened up the fabric of time! The Lord of Time? This is a robbery. Where am I? Why, why, why are you angry face? Why are you so mad? Because my life is in danger. I think you've got it wrong. I spoke to the Mad Hatter, and he said that uh, he it was using use, use an, an expression. He has no intention to kill you. Oh, really? Then I jumped to conclusions. Uh, that's okay. Um, okay. So can we speak to you? Um, <laughs> how old are you? I'm old enough, uh, I mean, I'm old, I'm old enough, okay? I won't ask you again. I mean, he's, he's the master of time. He's as old as he wants to be. Yeah. Can you move time to five o'clock, please? I would, but my clock hands are rusty and I can't move them. Hmm. You can use some grease. Or better yet, how about some butter? I think I've got the solution for your rust problem. I need some WD-40. That's refreshing. Now I'll be able to move my clock hands. <laughs> Look at that. I just went back in time. It's five o'clock. Excellent. So now we can go through the door. Okay. Whew. This has been an experience. I, I still love... I love this guy's design, by the way. I love this guy. Oh, it's open. Excuse me. I just about did a little belchy belch. All right, let's move forward. I see a crow or something in here. A vulture? A giant bird. Okay. Um, does giant bird like cheese? I feel like if I try to cross this... Let's, let's just see what happens. Okay. Yeah? <laughs> I love it. He's very fast. Let's find a way to surprise him. To surprise him. Maybe with, like, that bag. Maybe I can, like... I don't know why that was off. Maybe if I walk over here and I try to bag. What if I walk over here, turn this on. I should probably turn that on. I don't know why it's off. Okay, turn this on. Light it. Ha ha ha! We got the roasted bird! I guess we just found dinner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner, a chicken, oh my gosh. I mean, it's not chicken, because that was clearly a flying bird, and chickens don't do the fly. A dog? Well, if you say so. Would you like some chicken, dog? It's not a bad idea, but we need something more. What if we, what if we grab the shrinking, yes, a shrinking chicken. Oh god, I, would, I could really go for some fried chicken right now, oh. I could really go for some fried chicken right now. That sounds amazing. Oh, he's so cute. Now he's more dog-sized. The old trick of the poison chicken. I love classics. <laughs> I'm gonna go take Excalibur now. Don't mind me. A sword. Can I actually pick up the dog? Speak to the dog. Look at the dog. Nothing else with the dog. Anything else I'm missing? Because I feel like I keep missing things in the background this game for some reason. Oh, a maze! A maze is a maze, of course. Okay, uh, is there... I'm just checking the roses. The left seems to be smaller than the right, but I don't know if that really matters. I don't know if that... If that means anything. There's two of them. Do I need a twiddle-dee, twiddle dum it? No? Okay. I think we just need to go into the maze. Um, oh, hello! <laughs> oh, there into that! Oh, but is it loud and... Ah! The guards won't let you pass through. Maybe a friend can help you. A friend. A friend, a friend, a friend is a friend, of course. How about the Tweedles? Ha ha! Well, that's not quite what I was expecting, but ha ha! I didn't know I was good at bowling. 
We knocked down the cards. We did it. I'm just gonna, okay, I'm gonna, I was hoping I would like walk on top of them. That would have been hilarious. Okay, don't like this. Big open space sounds like a trap. Is this where we're gonna fight the Jabberwocky? No, just just an empty room. Oh, there's the Jabberwocky. Little both of the fleets, my Jabberwocky. As you can see, hand-to-hand uh, -hand combat is out of the question. We need a strategy. We need the sword. We need the empty bat. We need the Tweedledum to do this. We need the catapult. <gasps> yes. Now we put Tweedledum on it. No. Okay. It was worth a try. We'll put the sword. The sword will probably do. I climb on it. And then I use the sword to cut the rope. This dragon is about to experience my sword skills. Hiya! Ka chow! <laughs> we just straight up chopped his head off. I'm a damn deadly even with a toothpick. Hello. The evil queen has no powers now that has her dragon has been defeated. Blah, blah, blah. You don't have to fear for your lives anymore. You're free. Uh, don't listen to him. Uh, he's, he's right. The dragon's been defeated. Now we're free. Uh, uh, besides, the Queen of Hearts always treated us bad and threatened to cut our heads off. Why don't you pick Alicia, Queen of Wonderland? I'm sure she'll be fair and nice to everybody. Uh, don't listen to him. I'm your queen, and I order you not to listen. Uh, from now on, we'll have a new queen. <laughs> I'm gonna take that. I'm just gonna put that on her head. Congratulations, Alicia! Thanks for coming to my rescue and liberating Wonderland! No need to thank me, that's what I do. There's the hair, the rabbit. <laughs> Good job, Obama, and on behalf of all the citizens of Wonderland, I thank you. It was nothing, it was nothing. If there's anything we could do for you, just ask it. I'd just like to go home and be with my family. Consider it done. You'll always be welcome here, Obama. Watch closely! The clock! Why is there a YouTube notification? What what is happening? Holy crap. We're here! <laughs> I've just had the weirdest dream ever. I dreamed about talking cards, invisible cats, and crazy hairs. I'm probably working too much. Well, gonna go stop working for a little bit. Thanks for helping Obama save Wonderland. If you like this adventure, go to Incagame.com where you'll find many more. See you next time! Oh my gosh, I tried to do a few different voices. I think I think I did a few people with the same voice. I try to be slightly different, but I'm not really a voice actor, so I'm kind of really bad at it. Anyway, that's going to do it, obviously, for Obama Wonderland. I want to thank you all for joining me in this adventure. If you enjoyed the episode, please do all the things, but whatever you guys do, I just want to thank you all so much for watching and hope to see you in the next episode of Magic Man Mo. Bye! -bye.